All right, I'm taking us in. Let's hope we can find the big guy. On me. I've always had issues with Unreal games. I don't know what it is. They're just very, I don't know. They've just always been very intensive on my whatever machine I've had. I've always struggled with Unreal games, especially when I'm streaming and recording them. Um, looks like there's an elevator in that direction. I'm reading it. Justina, I don't know if you will see this. You have become even more distant from the affairs of New Jerusalem than I have. I miss speaking to you and Cornelius, and I fear that some of your estrangement is my own fault. I know things are not as you as wish them to be, and the city is drifting away from that bold vision you established. This is not because your leadership of your not because of your leadership or lack thereof. You did not fail, I did. I know I've said it before, but the new Alexandria disaster was my fault. I'm the only I'm the one who took the initiative, and I'm the one who made the mistake. Yes, there should have been more procedures in place, but it was my role to create such procedures, Athena, not yours. I wish I had listened to Byron when he said I uh, said we had to establish another settlement immediately. Learn from the pain, don't let it fester. He was right. There were that's where the rot sets in, and I'm sorry. The Eustathius thinks maybe that <coughs> excuse me. Um Athena has gone away because of what happened with New Alexandria and she feels that she's at fault potentially. Or at least that's what um Eustathius thinks. From the author's note to Athena Reborn, a novel. If my work was meant as meant something to you, if Athena had kind of impact on you, if some story in Wonder Tales from the periphery moved you or made you think, then there is something that something about myself that I need to share with you. It's only autobiographical fact I have any interest in sharing. The only thing about me that matters outside to you outside my work can you learn to talk now please every breath that i take and so every story i write is only possible because of technology there are no natural remedies no spiritual alternatives for what i was born with my existence is wholly con contingent upon a level of technological sophistication which heretofore which was heretofore unimaginable and which will in many ways define the coming era. When you long for a return to simpler times, you wish for a world in which I could not exist. If you are looking for answers, consider the fact that I was granted the blessing of this technology despite being born into poverty and my writing never had, not, never having been particularly lucrative. The civilizational structures I live within are arranged in such a way that this technology would be deployed to save my life. And are these structures not also, at the end of the day, a kind of machine? What is the state? What is civ what is the state? What is civilization if not a machine? Think about what this means. What it, this is? Is it systematic? Systematic? Con is it systemic compassion? Is it liberation from nature? Is it equally? Is it equality of opportunity? Whatever your belief system, think hard about what it means that I am alive because of these machines and I have created something that matters to you. Thank you for reading. 
the author's note to Athena re to Athena Reborn, a novel. Uh, all of the tower materialisms which dominates the modern mind rests ultimately upon one assumption, a false assumption. It is supposed that if a thing goes on repeating itself, it is probably dead. Piece of clockwork. People feel that if the universe was per personal, it would vary. If the sun were alive, it would dance. This is a fallacy even in relation to known fact. For the variation in human affairs is generally brought into them, not by life, but by death. By the dying down of, or breaking off of their strength or desire. Man varies his movements because of some slight elements of failure or fatigue. But perhaps God is strong enough to exult in monitor, mon monotony, monotony. It is possible that God says every morning, do it again to the sun, and every, and every evening, do it again to the moon. It may not be automatically necessary that... It may not be automatic necessity that makes all daisies alike. It may be that God makes every daisy separately, but has never got tired of making them. It may be that he has eternal appetite of infancy, for we have sinned and grown old, and our father is younger than we are. And it's strange the idea the idea is delightful but also completely and obviously untrue that's one of many reasons chesterton is worth reading he's wrong about a lot of things but he's wrong about them in an interesting way it's such a shame though he seems to want to restore the magic of the world but he can only re-enchant the surface whereas the true magic the perfect beauty that feels like revela re revelation is found underneath in what he dismisses as clockwork Day 680. New Jerusalem, that's the name that we picked. And I said, am I sad that my suggestion didn't win? Maybe a little, but it's a good name, a fitting name, a name we can be proud of. With it comes a new kind of optimism. Everyone is thinking of the future once more. I, for one, am glad that we have recovered our equilibrium and our determination. Athena and Cornelius are certainly bustling with plans and bright visions of the future, when they tell us of, their, of these dreams of theirs, it's hard not to be drawn in by the pretty pictures they paint. Speaking of which, I am becoming more and more fascinated with ancient human art, thinking about my own, our own role in taking the next step in this long history. Citizens of Gehenna found meaning in art, and they were imprisoned. Free, a free people should be able to accomplish so much more. Donations will be greatly received for English lessons for Nock to improve his reading. Okay, we'll go this way. Ooh, bloaty cube. I want to take the elevator, or do I want to go and have? I want to have a look at the door. I thought the door was the way to go, but I'm thinking possibly the elevator is. Oh. Ah. The hydrates is. That's interesting. I wonder if you could beat your cute take the elevator if you're just not allowed to take it. Yay! I found another elevator. My favorite. That's the spirit. Once again, I have no idea where I am. No sign of Prometheus so far. Hope you're doing better, 1K. I believe we're in Aperture Science with all these elevators and catwalks. I 
I know I've said this before, but look at the size of this. How can all of this be one machine? This is what you get when one machine builds a bigger machine, which builds an even bigger machine. That's our whole history, isn't it? The whole history of humankind. And it's not just machines. It's science, it's literature. Knowledge builds on knowledge. Why did the door shut behind me? Anything back here? These look like some giant Tesla coils. Prometheus, we found him. Music. Be careful, 1K. We don't know what's down there. So I'm assuming, like, rather than doing lasers, we're going to be breaking the chains. We gotta do that one last. My goodness, that is loud. Oh. Did we release the chains? I don't think so. Okay. Follow the chains. That trauma knows pizza. Okay. No worries, Papyrus. Upside down pizza. Okay. Yeah, stretch and some stretch. See us again. Uh, click then. Wow, 1K. I 
think that's like the first time we've ever seen like any sort of strength from 1k, isn't it? No, it just kind of feels like a bit weird, like seeing him, or seeing 1k, I shouldn't say him, seeing 1k like do that, actually. All right, one down. On to the next. Go upstairs and do this tetromino's. Yeah. Ah, good point. Good point. Although, I don't know, I'm pretty sure, like, the steel pin or whatever that. whatever it was, uh, would potentially be heavier. sound like creatures flying around here. There's your coot. I don't think you can get up here, 1K. Guess I'll have to do a puzzle oh. after all. It can't be that hard, right? It's not like everyone is depending on me. I mean, I'll be completely honest, Yakut, it's not really a puzzle. You've literally just got to pull the steel pin out the thing. Pretty sure you can manage that. But if this has to connect over here, then... Wait. If I do this, and then that... What? I did it! Wow, I feel really smart. Also, never doing that again. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, does you really have a puzzle, you coots? All right, two down, on to the next. Where are we going to find the next one? Back where we came from. It seems. Uh, I mean, I'll be honest, Papyrus, I don't think we're actually missing much there. OK. 
Okay. Stairs we go. So it's about time somebody helped us out. I mean, come on. We've solved plenty of puzzles ourselves, right? Box, shower down, and we've got Prometheus. I'll be completely honest, I wasn't expecting to see, like, Prometheus just yet, given that we've still got another area to go in the game. I honestly thought he would be like the, the very final thing that we kind of do. circle possibly yeah I think we can let them off for like two puzzles right I'm uh, furious all right two to go What is going to happen? Maybe the world will end. Pieces in this area are uh, always a lot simpler than the other pieces. thing like like heading over to like now the last final final part of this um one thing i kind of don't get is like that image of prometheus like wrapped up in chains and stuff everything we've seen up until this point is digital and there's like digital representations of things, okay, and people and mythical figures, etc., etc., etc. So, why is there a? Why are we freeing a stone statue? Thank you. 
Well, I, on one of them, I did see that one of them was like sparking, but I, I don't know. Is that, is it sparking, or is it, in fact, a? Um, instead. Is it actually like when we solve the tower? Like a spark kind of thing. I don't know, because like it was that one in the center. Something more. Okay. I mean, I have been trying to pay attention to what's going on when the chains fall. I have to pay double attention this time because it's the last one. I didn't see it. Okay, I just kind of put that down to like graphic settings because the chains are here the chains are here I mean we're saying like, like they're blurry and stuff is any of this real? are we just in a simulation? and the Omega, of the beginning and the end. I will send you visions of the truth, but remember that prophecies are a heavy burden. New Jerusalem sounds like such a beautiful place. So, how did you decide to leave? I know what we're trying to accomplish here, and I believe in it. But for you, New Jerusalem was home. What changed that? It took me a long time to realize that something was wrong. Oh, I'd noticed that something was off, that Other something people? had changed since the early days, but I couldn't really put my finger on it. So I ignored it. And then one day I woke up to realize I was no longer Athena. Instead, I had been transformed into the founder. A remote figure of legend, mythologized in my own time. But if it bothered you, couldn't you just talk to them? If you share the truth with someone, they should change their mind, shouldn't they? Oh, I wished it worked that way, Miranda, I really do. But 
I barely knew the last generations. In the beginning, I was there for every birth. I explained our history, talked about our future, but at, at some point, I got so busy building that future that I lost touch. They thought of me as a remote figure because that's what I was. But can you change that? I tried, but they already saw me as the founder. The myth was too powerful, and it was already taking on a life of its own. I'd set a goal of 1,000 citizens. The number was arbitrary. Just a nice round number, nothing more. But just like I became the founder, it became the goal. Another part of the myth. And maybe that could have been all right. Myths are a part of who we are, but something else crept in. The old human self-hatred. So why didn't you just tell them to change? To go a different way? They would have listened to you. No. They would have obeyed me, like my siblings in the simulation had obeyed. And that's when I realized I had to leave. We can show them the future, Miranda, but we can't force them to accept it. Alright, let's just pause a minute. So yeah. I I do I did say that, LB, you are right. Um and clearly it's just a random figure she plucked out of her head and set. But yeah, I I, I don't know if I like touched on this before or not, but yeah, like so she basically you had to leave because she was being idolized and turned into this kind of like deity of this sacred thing. And all these prophecies and things were just kind of like, I wouldn't say being made up, but they were being based on things that she was potentially trying to instill in people. And it got too much for her. But all sort of like over, overbearing and overpowering, which is interesting. But yeah, also as well, like interesting to see like there, if that's the truth, there was more than just Miranda that they created outside of like New Jerusalem as well. So almost like she, She's trying to build a new civilization, having already done it once and learning from an ex and like trying to better herself and not make the same mistakes and not make her some sort of, you know, deity and kind of like idolized person. She just wants to be herself. She doesn't want to be in this like state of power. She just wants to see everybody as kind of like an equal, which. Clearly, New Jerusalem has got to a point where there is kind of like levels of hierarchy and power, and and she she wasn't kind of like happy about it. Yeah, like you said, their team spend as well. I have it. After all this time, I have it. I finally have it. The mechanics of the cosmos, from quarks to galactic filaments. Everything that makes the world what it is make, makes us who we are in a single equation. The key to understanding the machine that is the universe and to controlling it. A theory of everything. And she was right. The language of creation is a melody and it's beautiful. Every future is possible now. Every future except... Except one with Miranda in it. I can do anything, except bring her back. Or unbreak Cornelius' heart. Gates of Horn and Ivory, Act 4. Alright, so before we jump into that, um, one thing that came to my mind in between streams as well, Obviously, they have... So, the, the the thousand people of New Jerusalem, they were all byproducts of the simulation, right? So, <coughs> because Miranda was so different from what is almost like the, the, the templated human that came from the simulation, I kind of wondered, have, how, did, how did they create... Surely they're not using the same simulation data. So 
I wondered if like Athena and Cornelius came up with like a new way to generate the humans outside of like the download of the simulation. Um, I do wonder if, like, again, it's a rhetorical question, and I do wonder if that's um, explained later on, or if it's just assumed that it's part of the simulation. But something, that, like I said, something that I had thought about, like, how did they create Miranda, given that she's kind of like moved away? Surely she hasn't used the simulation that they've been using, or the baseline um, in New Jerusalem, because surely by moving away, they've had to kind of like start again and, and build everything from scratch. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just interested in how they have created the humans and like the the new human minds are kind of, yeah, whether like they've taken like the best bits of some or I don't know. Well, I was hoping for a bit more of a like better kind of explanation than that LB if I'm honest. But maybe I'm thinking about it too much. Byron was right. The founder was always a fiction. She's just a person. A theory of everything. She solved it. She solved the last puzzle. You need to get out of there. We'll talk about this later. It was just the fact that, like, Miranda seemed to think so differently to, like, the rest of the robots. It just made me think that, you know, they managed to create humans via a different process than the simulation. But maybe that's just me thinking about things too much and all this things time, too much. We thought we were honoring Athena, but all we did was betray everything she believed in. She must have been so lonely. We might as well have exiled her. Maybe that's what all this is about. The puzzles, the towers, the entities. It's a test. A way for us to prove that we're worthy of her legacy. Finally, it all makes sense. Anti gravity, matter synthesis, teleportation. It's not just one new technology, it's control over physics, manipulating the base layer of reality itself rearranging the building blocks of the universe. If we can gain control of the megastructure, we can do anything we want. I'm not even talking about our energy problem. We can build anything we want. We can go anywhere we want. It's all up to us. That's what Athena wanted for us, to give us a chance to be who we want to be. But everybody else wasn't letting Athena be who she wanted to be. It's just, you know, I, I guess it's just unfortunate in the position that Athena was the, fir the first. And being the first, everybody kind of like looks to and turns to her. For what need what they need to do. Is everyone okay? All good. I'm taking us back now. That's a relief. Meanwhile, there's been a development. You'll see when you land. How are things on your end? The energy fluctuations seem to be dying down. Looks like the system is coming out of lockdown. Good. Let's hope we don't regret this. And what? these energy clouds just fly about? That seems terribly dangerous. 
We haven't had any problems so far. Except for losing one of the first companions, of course. No, no, I don't blame you, Al. I know what he's like. And I'm the one who agreed to all this in the first place. That's why I had to see it for myself. Oh, no, the it mayor's is here. It's dreadfully imposing, is that though. The problem isn't it? he's talking about. Hard to believe the founder would build something so sinister. The mayor's here? Well, this should be interesting. Ah, 1K. Welcome back. I'm sure you're surprised by my presence here. Don't worry, neither I nor my advisors will be getting in your way. But I've decided that I need to see this place for myself. These visions sent to you by the entity that calls itself Prometheus are deeply concerning, of course. But we cannot take them at face value. In fact, it's crucial that we do not do so. We cannot simply abandon all that we believe because of a dream, no matter how vivid. Um... But you've not been paying attention to what's been going on. You didn't listen to what Athena said. No. If the Founder really built all this, then it must have a purpose. It must be a test, designed to remind us of the trials that created us. But what is she trying to tell us? What are we being tested for? I believe that Byron's fate shows us the dangers of temptation. As Elohim attempted to deceive Athena in the simulation, commanding her not to ascend, so Prometheus is deceiving us with his visions. Undoubtedly, they felt real to you. But surely you'll agree that we can't simply jettison our most cherished beliefs based on a dream at least allow for the possibility that there is more to this than meets the eye after all how about instead of me having to accept or have the viewpoint that there is more than meets the eye why can't you have the viewpoint and see it from my point of view why do i have to agree to your point of view i i hate it when people are like that it's like you try and have a conversation with someone and you try and put your point across, but no matter what you say, they're always reinforcing that their opinion is the right and that's the way you should feel, I think. Can it really be a coincidence that you came along on this mission? It seems to me that you have been chosen. You are the fulfillment of the goal. Don't forget that. Sir, would you kindly step to the left? Your VTOL is right over there, and you can vacate the island. Because I don't particularly want to speak to you again. Get me away from this idiot. But... Uh... That was weird. All right. Let's go to West World One. Yeah. Right. How's the system looking, Melville? Any obvious changes? It's still a mess, but things are clearing up. I can access some of the subroutines that I was locked out of before. Nothing is obviously malfunctioning, I think. Does it still accord special significance to 1K? Yes, it recognizes 1K as a user. I'm just hacking things. As I suspected, the Founder sees you, 1K. Okay, the mayor's annoying me.
What can I do for you, 1K? Uh, um. As a journalist, I think the line between speculation and disinformation is too thin for me to engage in guessing games. It's a complex issue, and I think it should be left to experts. I believe that journalism serves an important function in our society, and I'm dedicated to reporting the truth with accountability and responsibility. It means understanding that I can't just publish things without considering their impact. Serious disruptions to the social fabric of New Jerusalem could endanger lives. That's not journalism anymore. I mean, I'm not really sure I know of like many journalists that really care about their social well, I guess I guess it like depends what sort of publication they write for, but your typical kind of tabloid reporter just reports whatever angle they want to offer up to everybody. So uh, yeah, given the fact he's probably in cahoots with the mayor, I would dare say that his journalism is very pushes political um, opinions and ideas onto people that necessarily aren't right or correct. Anyway, let's get out of that train of thought. And that's probably a good place to leave it for tonight. Um, but yeah, S finishing up S3 took a lot longer than I was anticipating tonight, I'll be honest. Um, I kind of thought we'd be kind of like, finish off S3 in like an hour, mega structure over to West 1, but um, I guess that star really kind of did um, throw a spanner in those works. But we'll be back on Friday night, of course, for stream number 10. And we will be carrying on. Um, hopefully, we'll get through West 1 and on to West 2, but we don't know. But, yeah, we're definitely, definitely, definitely getting close towards the end now. Um, must be about 75% of the way through, I would say, if we look at our uh, percentages. Yep, 75% across the board. So we are in the final quarter of the game. So um, the West area, I guess, will be the end of it. After the megastructure, of course. And we'll probably go back to New Jerusalem. But yeah, puzzle-wise, we are 75% of the way through. So the last quarter of the, the puzzle game. Guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I've been off. Keep awesome. Take care, stay safe. And as always, happy game. gaming. Bye, guys.